What? What? What's that, Emily? You. You don't like this place. You. You say you're a personal friend of Queen Jasmina, and living in a hovel like this is beneath you. Yeah, but I'm. You know, this is just a. T what? You. You're gonna show me where you want to live permanently. A place that's worthy of someone of your stature. Okay. Well, you'll have to show me where it is. So this is where you want to live, huh? You want this to be your house? And you'll have your kitchen and stuff in here? And then you can use uh, these little gardens over here and the larger fields there to grow crops? Okay, well, what about everybody else? Oh, oh, they can live in this house too? Okay. Um, so maybe over here we would uh, have our warehouse where we'd put all of our storage. And then um, you're thinking that uh, this building over here could be for the blacksmith and the carpenter to set up shop. Okay. Maybe we could uh, put the archer up in the in the loft here with some targets for them to practice their their archery yeah i could i could see that sure that, that could potentially work we have a a well here with some water in it we could maybe fix this building up here and keep some sheep in here or wool and that sort of thing yeah that 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 could work emily but uh, what about me where am i gonna live Okay, so uh, you think uh, that should be the master's house over there, huh? And you you think that cursed church should be changed into a cursed wizard's tower for Balthazar to dwell in, huh? And you want all these weeds picked up and these flowers beautified. Okay, you know, Emily, this isn't a bad idea, but you're just... Uh, you're kind of bossy. Uh, you, you want you, you say I should just get used to it? <laughs> okay. All right, welcome back everybody to it's shrouded. I'm the bearded OG, and Emily has told me in no uncertain terms <clears throat> that uh, we are going to live here uh, in Harvest Homestead and Woodgard. So um, yeah, I kind of outlined my uh, very general plan uh, to you guys here in our little opening sequence, having a little fun with Emily here. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's talk uh, about this again in a little more detail. So. My uh, idea is, and this is going to be a hell of a lot of work, um, and I'm certainly going to I'm going to do it a little bit out of a time, a little bit out of time. I'm not going to try and do it all in one one go because it's just it'd be too much work. But I figure what we could do is fix this place up, um, and this could be our house, and then um, you know like the the master's house of the estate kind of idea. And um, you know I wanted to, I also you know had it in my mind to do a wizard's tower. And, um, you know, there's already a steeple, but I was thinking it might be cool to, you know, clean up this church and rebuild it, but rebuild it more as a, uh, as a wizard's tower, as opposed to, you know, a church. And then that's, that's where Balthazar would reside. And, um, oh, where did that thing go? Let's go up here and grab the, the loot skis. And then over at uh, the uh, Harvest Homestead, we would set up um, Emily, uh, Oswald, Cade, and Othalon. Oh, I guess that chest is a one-time deal. And, um, you know, that would be, we'd have them live, live together in that house and just, you know, pick their rooms and stuff and then use the barn for their workshops because it seems to... Um, to be a good, you know, a good place to do that and fitting. Then, of course, we have all the fields down here that we can use to plant the crops. Um, I might, at some point, clear all the mud out of here and replace it with 
you know, the, the water blocks, the blue blocks. So it looks like there's water flowing through there. And um, we could either, I could either have, well, there's a couple things we could do. Um, I could have the basement down here be, be the storage. We could put all of our storage down in this basement here. And, you know, we'd clear all the rubble and the dirt and stuff out and make it look nice and, and put some stairs uh, right here. Um, or I could put uh, put all the storage in here. This could be like a, a our warehouse. Um, if I decided to put the storage in the basement, then this could turn into uh, another workshop for one of the crafts people. So I'd have to just kind of, you know, I just have to try, kind of think that through. Um, if we did it that way, so if we did storage underneath the house, what I'd probably do is put Oswald in here because this has a pretty good blacksmith's field feel to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> well, you know, with all the barrels and stuff in it, I would, and I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't probably wouldn't break these. I'd probably leave them. Um, we could potentially put Othelon in here. For the archer's place it's got some bundles of straw for for archery targets and that sort of thing we'd fix the roof and make it you know at the very at a very minimum we would repair everything that's broken um and then you know it, how much of it we we spiff up just kind of depends upon you know what i feel is is appropriate but all this rubble would would go out of here anything that's broken would be replaced with its original blocks on the building itself uh, with the exception of maybe some things that I might want to make nicer blocks for. Uh, we, oh, yeah, we have these little garden plots over here, too, that we could make immediate use of. And um, and then what I was kind of thinking in here is this could be, you know, like a, the dining area. And this, of course, would be the kitchen because it's already got some pots and pans and a big table and a hearth that we would, again, clear, you know, clear all the debris out of. Um. And this would be just like a little back storage room. This goes down into the basement, but we have to clear all this dirt and rubble and stuff out of the way. And then in the upstairs, there is ample space up here for some bedrooms. Um, so this could be Emily's bedroom. This could maybe be Othalon's bedroom. There's a bathroom here already in place. Already has a potty and stuff in it. And uh, then there's a another bedroom over here that we could put somebody into. Or even, you know, a couple people. We'd probably want to remove the torture rack, though, first, because um, most of our peeps probably wouldn't appreciate uh, sleeping in a torture chamber. Uh, well, maybe Oswald would. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so lots of potential here. I When I had my first um, season playthrough of this game, um, I really did like this place and even thought about doing something with it then, but, you know, it just didn't turn out that way. Um, but I think uh, I think we'll, we'll we'll give this a go and you know see how it comes together rather than do a, a build from scratch, which is what we did in season one. You know I built our place from the ground up pretty much. So in this case, we already have a nice estate with a nice farm. It just needs a lot of fixing up, but it could look really cool. You know when it's all said and done. <clears throat> um, I don't like all of these overgrown blocks here so we may we might ultimately end up replacing all of these with cleaner clean blocks but definitely you know keep the flowers and all of that in place as it as it currently is so yeah that's uh that's kind of the plan here so let's see here why don't we <clears throat> excuse me why don't we go back to um our main base and call emily back for the time being uh, because i need I, I guess the first thing is i need to figure out where I'm going to place the altars permanently and then get them upgraded. I pro we probably won't do much at all over here at first. Uh, let's get the, the Harvest Homestead fixed up first, uh, you know, because that's going to be our more functional place anyways. And then, uh, you know, we'll worry about uh, Woodguard uh, later on uh, as we, as we pro uh, progress. Okay, so, yeah, let's go back to the base here. I just want to, uh, I was learning a bunch of stuff too, you know, as I was going through all of that. Um,
So we'll just put Emily back there for the moment. And let's see what... Oh, I came over here to get um, uh, spores. Or not spores, uh, these things. C cores, okay. Yeah, so we have six. All right, that's good. So we can we can upgrade the altar pretty significantly. Uh, and, you know, because that's a pretty big area, we may end up having to set down multiple altars, which is fine. We can do that. You know, we'll just have to kind of manage how all that's going to go. Uh, all right. I would like to... Uh, let's see. Let's talk to you. Oh, you know what? We can't... Um, Yeah, see, we can't make the, the better chest until we get the saw blade. And I don't really want to set up our storage with these smaller, small capacity chests. I'd like to, to at least start with, uh, you know, with the medium chest. So maybe that's what we ought to do today um, is go after the saw blade so that we can make this. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. And then what I'll do off camera is I'll, I'll determine uh, the best altar placement and get that all set up and get the uh, at least the initial altar upgraded. And then, you know, what we'll do is we'll either have, you know, I'll intersper uh, intersperse a building episode in between the adventuring like I did in Season 1, and or maybe what we'll do is we'll, at some uh, in some cases, maybe what we'll do is we'll just kind of split an episode up. We'll spend like the first half of it doing some building and the second half doing some adventuring. Uh, so that way we're not, you know, we're mixing it up and it, it makes it a little more enjoyable, uh, I think for all of us, really, uh, for me especially. So, uh, all right. So let me get stuff put away. And then, yeah, we're going to set out to do the table saw for the carpenter. Of course, we need to do the smelter too. Um, and it would just, <clears throat> it would be very good to have all of that stuff, uh, or at least most of it, before we make the big move. Um... Yeah, we're not going to do hollow halls quite yet. And uh, I think this is this one is in Pike Meads too, the Crucible. Oh. No, it's not. Okay. I think it's the cooking pot that's that's maybe in the cru in, in Pike's Mead cuz Pike's Mead is way way up here. All right, well that's good. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I'd like to have at least have, you know, copper tools before we start doing all that work too, you know, because the scrap tools are just going to suck to try and break down all that rubble and all that. So, all right, let me get stuff put away and I'll bring you back when we're ready to go out and about. All right, guys, Um, I forgot uh, we, we also, I mean, we need all of this stuff, but I really think I'm going to actually first go after the hunter's hand spindle. Just because, you know, then I can upgrade to the better wizard gear. So let's priori uh, prioritize that first. Then we'll go after the table saw and then the crucible in that order. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so Hunter's Hand Spindle. Um, that is... <clears throat> that is... Where the hell is that at? Up here. Right? Hold on a sec. Uh, go back to journal, Hunter's Hand Spindle. Oh, it's, oh, it's here. Okay. All right. So this see, we, that's the spire for there. Um, or we could go here and hoof it over that way. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Okay, yeah, so we'll go around this direction. And we've got our usual wolves to deal with here.
Okay. So, this is one of those multi leg quests. Uh, are there enemies besides spiders in this town? Like scavenger dudes? Yes, there are. Okay. So let's go ahead and get buffed up then. Make sure this is on Ice Bolt. All right, let's do this. Okay, I gotta come around the corner. Maybe we'll go around the corner. Okay, he's down. Sure, we'll grab some honey while we're up here. Why not? Okay, so looks like there's something inside of there to read. some scrap metal. We'll take that. More scrap metal. And even more. There we go. All right, uh, pause the screen if you want to read this, uh, but this moves us, I believe, to the next leg for the quest. Uh, no, it doesn't. That was just a regular note. All right. It says location is above. Shroud liquid. Somebody had some shroud liquid sitting in a pot in their kitchen. Who would do such a thing? Well, besides me. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Anything else to loot up here? Okay, I think that updates the, the quest. Yes, so the first little thingy is done. Now we need to go uh, to a camp to do the next leg of the quest, which is this direction. Let's kill the rest of the bad bads in here, though, first. Just for the XP and loot and all that. Uh, not sure if there's anything in that house or not. Might as well get some free water. Scared me. That's just a dismantle. Okay. Let's uh I'm I'm not gonna loot that house, let's just go. <clears throat> Here's the hunter's abandoned camp. Grab that. Okay. This will take us to the next leg of the quest. Pause the screen to read. Alright, got a new wand. Is it better? This is a an ice wand. It's a level nine. Uh Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's obviously it's going to do a little more damage, but we lose all of this, especially the mana leech. So even though 5% is not that big a, of a chance, 
But it's not a, enough of an upgrade to do, in my opinion. So we're gonna we're gonna melt it down. All right, next leg of the quest then is the final leg, and I think we I think we got to go into a big spider cave to get this. Now that I remember it, so I just gotta remember how to get there. Oh. Where are you going, man? All right, let's look at the map here. Oh, shit. Where are you? Ah, oh, there he is. Is there anything up here? Nope. Oh, wow. We got to go all the way up there? Uh. Okay. Well, let's go to the Revelwood Spire then. Set that as a waypoint, even though it's already marked anyway. Forge location. All right, well, here we go. Definitely pick the camel meal. We'll pretty much pick anything we come across to, until we, at least until we get a farm going. <clears throat> uh, we need the camel meal for the larger health potion. All right, so we're going to have to go down here. Oh, our first greenie. And a high level one at that. Okay. Our best bet here is to wait till he attacks, get out of the way, and then strike. off of the wand. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. We have two skill points. We are working towards, uh, we're working our way up the wizard tree. Um, and I want to get to Radiant Aura as soon as possible. So I guess we'll just do spirit, which just doesn't suck because it increases our mana. Um, and then we'll probably branch off to Arsonist, which is fine with me because fire is kind of my main damage anyways at the moment to get to here. And I, don't, I also want to go up and do max out lightning as well. All fell foes within 10 meters take one additional fire damage per intelligence per second. Okay, cool. All right, so we just boosted our mana pool. Take that for sure. Got all the flax up here. This is probably a clay mine, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. All right, we need to get um, we need to get some um, what you call it, amber too. There's some very close to the Revelwood Spire. Let's 
Get all this flax. And I believe our cave's going to be through here. Oh, no, that's the cave up there, right? Okay. So we go around up, up this way. All right, we want to switch to um, fire, but let's uh, let's give ourselves a couple squirts of heal first, and then make sure we're on fireball. Oh, good. We can start picking these mushrooms too. These give us another point of spirit. I don't know if we um, get into Shroud in here or not. Alright, these are level 13 Spideys. Buff, uh, healing buff was worn off, or I mean our health buff, and our spirit. So, if I take these raw, oh no, we don't want to do that. They need to be cooked. Okay, well we'll just stick with the Aurelians for now. a buried mushroom. Oh shit, that scared me. Should have expected that, but... That'll be a nice boost for us. There's one buried over here too. Can we get to it? No. I mean, I could, I could dig down into the ground, but not a big deal. Oh, copper in here, too. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay, there's the spindle across the way there. Um, could we, uh, Cheesy McSqueezy, some of these guys from up here. The thing is, is I think once we grab the spindle, then a whole bunch of them spawn in. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, are they resisting fire? Yes, they are. I mean, it's it's still doing a lot of damage, but we might as well use our eternal ice bolt and save ammo. Oh yeah, ice bolt's definitely what you want to use on these guys. See, now we're getting a big rush of them. Okay, let's just uh, head up here. Grab this. Ah! 
That's a uh, that's a lot of spideys. Let's just get out of here. I have no stamina. Fortunately, um, they can't skitter faster than I can trot. Jeez Louise. They're still chasing me. Okay, we gotta go. Take one of these. I need a... I need some kind of an AoE spell. Well, we won't be needing critter parts for a long time. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Why don't we immediately go home and get our wizard set made now that we can do that? Um, because that's just going to make us more powerful. And then we'll worry about the saw blade and all the rest of that stuff later. All right. Your hand spindle. An ambush. Yeah, I got ambushed by spiders. Okay. Animal fur. What's that? Yeah, we got fur too. Okay. All right. So we need to make the... Uh, no, the spindle we just put down. We don't have to craft it. All right. We'll just put that right there. Beautiful. And... um. We need to put flax in here. Do I have uh, more flax? Hmm. Yes, I do. Um, it's easy enough to get, so I'm going to actually use all of it for linen. And hopefully it'll be enough for us to make our set. All right, now let's look at this again. We want to make the mage set. Um, so you're gonna need two linen. Oh, we gotta get the amber too. Right. Okay. Oh shit, that's ten linen. This is expensive. Farewell. Farewell, Schmerwell. Is this a one to one? Fourteen. No, it's a two to one. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go cut the camera. I'm going to go to the Revelwood. I'm going to farm up a shit ton of flax. Uh, also, go get the amber. But before we do that, I'm going to cook these new mushrooms too. Um, I'll actually show show you where the amber is in case some of you watching may not know. Uh, but first, I'm going to get these mushrooms cooked up. All right. Um, before I take off, and I should have done this with one of the flax seeds, but didn't think about it. Uh, I'm going to make um, a seed bed and plant some indigo. I, I have enough to make the full mage set, but I... You know, we're going to need more. So, yeah. Okay, so we need to get some dirt and some bone meal. Got lots of bone meal in here. And one of these chests should have some dirt in it. Yep. Okay. And from that, we need to make farm soil. All right, and then the seed bed requires metal scraps and wood logs. And I'm obviously I'm going to do this for ev everything, but for now, um, we'll just do it 
for the plant that I'm I need the most at the moment, uh, which is actually flax. But again, I should have not burned them all up. So we'll just put this here, and then to do indigo, <clears throat> we need a water, an indigo, and another farm soil. Don't overwork myself? Don't worry, I never overwork myself. I make it a point not to ever overwork myself. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. Uh, okay, I just need one of these. Um, I guess we need room to split it. Uh, and then uh, water, yeah, we've got water, okay. So select this, water, indigo, farm soil. There we go. All right, so now we have a renewable source of that. I think we can make, the only thing we can, uh, the one thing we can make right now is the wizard boots. Everything else requires amber, which I'm going to go after. Um, but yeah, this will give us two mana generation. The What we're currently wearing only gives us one. So let's pin this, and we need two dried fur. Okay. We need two torn cloth. Let's put this stuff back in here. Uh, okay, that's a, it's a full stack, but it's shortly going to not be a full stack. Okay, let's see, we need one indigo plant. That was back in here, I think. And four linen. Let's put the farm soil in here. And the bone meal can go back in here. Okay. Farewell. So we have our first set. And those, I'm just going to delete. No reason to keep them. And gives us a little more mana region. Let's put this back in here for now and sleep. All right, guys, I ended up having to go AFK for a bit. And uh, when I came back, I decided to put in some more, um, uh, what are these called? Seed beds. And uh, also did just a little garden strip here. We've got some, who's what was it? It's the purple plant. Indigo's glow, uh, growing. And I just scooched back up to Revelwood really quick and grabbed a couple more flax um, so we can get that produced. So we got um, 10 seeds here. Because it's just going to be faster in the long run, you know, to do it this way than it is to try and go pick it in the wild. Plus this is sustainable, you know. Um, all right, so let's put snapping on. And we'll just start here. And we'll go... Right down the line here. I put, uh, and I am using farm soil because things will grow faster in farm soil. You can plant it just straight in the ground, but it takes longer to grow. So, and farm soil is like, it's not like that's a big deal to make. Okay, so that gets uh, a bunch of flax planted for us, and we'll, uh, we'll grow some more once we. We get some more. Um, all right, let's head back to Revelwood Spire, and we're gonna get ourselves some amber. Uh, there's a, a little patch of it uh, right over the cliff to the east of the spire. Um, so we want to go this way. And yeah, it's just right down here. Yep, 
right below us here. Okay, so I think what we can do is... I think we can jump down onto this little ledge here. And... Down to here. There we go. And let's get ourselves some amber. Um, I think we only need a total of like 12 pieces or something like that for the wizard set. I'll probably get a little bit more than that. But later on when we have, you know, a better pick, we'll get a larger quantity of it. All right, that should be good enough. And uh, I believe we can get back out of the spire by just running back around up this way. Or not the spire, I mean the shroud. <laughs> there we go. That's good enough. And we'll take a beat. All right, let's go home. All right, so we currently have 10 pieces of linen. Let's go to mage set. All right, so that, that allows us to make the chest piece. Let's make that first, because that's probably going to be the most expensive. Yeah. So we need three indigo and ten torn cloth. Thank you. Let's grab the cloth out of there, and I think the indigo's in here. Okay, so that gets us the chest piece. Let's equip that. Um, if we compare, so this is 30 physical, 61 magic versus 21, 42 for resistance. That's 24 mana, this is 48, so double our mana. Very nice. Also very green. Um, and we don't need this anymore. Just no, there's not really much point in hanging on to old armor because you can't break it down to salvage when you die you don't lose your armor so there's just no point in hanging on to it unless unless you want you know a second set for other purposes of course um which we don't in this case all right so we got the boots and the chest piece we still need to do the legs gloves and hat but uh we won't be able to do that until we get more flax And, uh, well, more linen, more specifically. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and sleep. All right. I'm going to have... What am I going to do? How are we doing on time? Yeah, I think... Okay, guys, I think what we're going to do is wrap up this episode here. Um, and I'm going to wait for this to mature and finish the mages uh the mage set yeah the mage set so so we still need the hat the gloves and the pants and then in the next episode we'll start out uh and we'll continue uh, we need to get the crucible and the table saw uh specifically and then we might see if we can um, survive in Pike Mead's reach long enough just to grab Emily's uh, cooking pot. Um, actually, though, doesn't she... She needs the fireplace first. It doesn't look like she's given us the quest for that yet. Yeah, we need to, we need to get the fireplace for her. So that'll... Uh, something will unlock that. I'm not sure what, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, but anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.